Today our guest is the head of law and development public union office Hasanov. Welcome to our studio. Thank you. Today we will discuss election campaigns in Azerbaijan. What, ab what can you say about the number of compliance in Azerbaijan. Originally, we were expecting uh, that unlike the previous parliamentary elections of 2005, there will be uh, fewer, less election campaigns in the registration, candidate registration process. However, you know that in 2008, there were amendments to the election electoral code, and one of the amendments is that the registration of registered candidate cannot be annulled. It is actually impossible. That's why in these presidential elections there were more gross violations in the registration process, candidate registration process, because the this annulment of registration is impossible. In the last uh, elections, about uh, can f the candidacies of uh, 500 candidates were eliminated, but now it is impossible. Therefore, everything is settled in the registration process. So if uh, one is not regarded suitable for participating in running in elections, they are, their registration is rejected. They are not rejected, registered. There are gross violations. Only uh, our organization has uh, received appeal about uh, from about 30 candidates. Most of the decisions of uh, constitutional election commissions don't have legal grounds. Therefore, we appeal to the Central Election Commission requesting to uh, dismiss the decision of the constitutional election commissions. Only 10 appeals of candidates were fulfilled. There were many, uh, there were many administrative resources used in the election campaign. We also appealed to the Central Election Commission regarding some uh, technical issues whose registration uh, were rejected. As to the appeal sent by our organization to the Central Election Commission man cannot say that um, there were remarkable progress, most of them were rejected. In total, the Central Election has considered about 180 appeals, and only four of them were fulfilled. 44 of them were fulfilled. And uh, of the appeals filed to the Baku Appeals Court, I here cite the OSCE report, OSCE report, and uh, the internal reports of uh, OSCE, OSCE observation missions, and none of the said complaints were fulfilled, I must say. But after the OSCE report, the appeals court fulfilled three appeals in a row, and the fulfillment of these uh, appeals seems is dependent, was related to the OSCE report. And the Supreme Court fulfilled only one of the filed complaints. So the general view is uh, so. There are many complaints and they are not investigated properly. And I would say that the investigation of the complaints is not based on legislation. Are there more complaints from the ruling party or oppositional parties? or independent parties. The number of rejected candidates from the ruling party is very few. So we know that there are three ruling party, can ruling party members that were rejected, but they were not nominated by the ruling party. They run, uh, were running independently. Uh, though they were uh, the party members. They just were running as uh, the ruling party members. But uh, most of the rejected and complaining candidates belong to the oppositional group, including the uh, Azerbaijan Republic Front Party and Savat coalition. Two-thirds of the complaints belong to these parties. And uh, totally about 24, 25 complaints were sent by oppositional candidates. Thank you for coming to our studio today. Our guest was Hafiz Esamov.